Hi, I'm Sheena Joy. I create macrame textile art, and I'm here to simply inspire you to do the same. If that's your jam, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Okay, first things first, we need to wrap our hoops. To wrap, I'm using vertical lark's head knots. I'll demonstrate the first knot here for you, but otherwise I'm just going to motor along. Don't forget to check out my knot tutorial playlist if you need further instructions. Even though I'm using basic knots, I consider this project advanced. Also, there's different variables, which is why I'm not giving specific measurements. So please use this tutorial as more of a guideline. Okay, our first hoop is done, but we still have two more to go. So it's just like our first one, we're gonna use vertical lark's head knots. <laughs> and finally, the last hoop. So we should have three wrapped hoops by now. And don't worry, we're gonna weave in the ends later. <laughs> Yay, I found my tapestry needle. So I'm just going to make the dream catcher portion here. So this is where I'm using the butcher's twine. And I'm counting about uh, 12 lark's head knots between each stitch. Once we're in the center, we're going to weave as opposed to doing stitches. Make sure you're not tying any knots when you're weaving because we want to be able to pull it tight. I decided to leave a gap, that way we can hang a charm in the center. To reinforce the center, I did a whole bunch of half hitches. It's not completely necessary to do this, but I like to because um, it, it gives it a more solid look. Also, it's stronger to hold up any heavy charms. I'm just going to slow down this part here just so that you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to speed it right back up again. And this is what the center should look like. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other two hoops, only I'm going to add beads and I'm going to close in the center. We're not going to have any gap in the middle. I like to add a couple stitches in the center just to make sure that it's secure. And voila! Now it's time to arrange um, the placement of where it's going to be on the branch. To attach the branch, I'm using two long cords that are folded over into a lark's head knot. And I'm going to be doing a series of left facing spiral knots. I'm going to slow it down here so you see what I'm doing, but you can also check out my knot tutorial playlist if you need further instructions. To attach our dream catcher, I looped the center cords around underneath and then I did a square knot to secure it in the back. And you guessed it, we're going to do the exact same thing to the other dream catchers. The only thing I caution you on is just to make sure that you do a lot of measurements to make sure that it's centered properly. So now I'm back at doing more spiral knots. I'm going to make this strand a lot longer this time just so that it's in line with the bottom of our larger dream catcher. And to attach our dream catcher, I'm using the center cords. I'm pulling it in through and then I'm going to secure it with a square knot in the back. When tying your square knot, make sure you pull it very taut. And don't worry about the tail ends, I have a way to solve that problem. I'll show you later on. Now just one more to go. But first, coffee. So I did a whole bunch of different knot sequences for the bottom of our dream catchers here. I did some switch knots. I incorporated some yarn. Um, I did some more spiral knots and some alternating half hitches. 
so I did this kind of randomly and I feel like it gives it a lot more personality, more texture. I don't like to use super glue that often, but for dream catchers, I feel that it's necessary. I'd hate to have our dream catcher unravel, so I'm just dotting on the super glue with a toothpick and I brush it in the direction of the fibers. Next, I weave in the ends and then I snip off the excess rope. All right, now to hide where um, we attach the dream catchers, I like to tie a gathering knot. I find that it makes it a lot more secure and I just think it looks nicer. If you're unfamiliar with this technique, go ahead and check out my knot tutorial playlist. Once our gathering knot is secure, I'm just going to snip off the excess cords. Now to place our floral arrangement. I didn't film how I created this because, well, honestly, it would probably need a whole other tutorial. I am also not the best person to be learning how to do floral arrangements. Now to make the hanger, I am just doing a reverse lark's head knot and I'm gonna be doing a series of spiral knots. And to attach a hanger onto the other side, we're just gonna use the same technique I used for the dream catchers. I think this turned out really beautiful. What do you think? I had created this piece for my client's nursery. If you're watching right now, you're probably due any minute now, so congratulations. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.